Welcome into sports and day two of the Solheim Cup from Inverness. Coming into today, the Americans had some ground to make up, down three points, but they had a heck of a morning, winning three of their four matches to pull within a point, gaining some momentum and putting them within striking distance for tomorrow's final round. Let's take a look at the highlights. This the morning group on 17, Lexi Thompson with a long putt that earned a full point for the Americans. And then right behind her, Jennifer Cupcho putting on 17, ends it right here. The Americans went into the afternoon down just one. And then in the afternoon, the biggest roar of the day came here on 17. Cupcho off the back of the green, chips it in. USA earned a half point there and they are down two heading into match play. We've got one more day to go and you know it's it's Thank God that we're playing at 12 o'clock so they can rest up a little bit. And like I said, you know, I feel pretty strong about our team and about our lineup. So we're, we're looking forward to that and just looking to go out and to make as many points as we can. Hopefully get on the board early and, and keep it going. You're, you, the crowd were getting right into it right, quite rightly. I mean, the Americans were doing well and, and winning points. I mean, I think for them, they're going to go and want to go out and, and get that crowd going and rocking and cheering for them. And, and obviously we're wanting to do the opposite. We're wanting to go out there and, um, you know, try and silence that crowd like we did um, you know, a little bit towards the end of the day today. So, yeah, I mean, I think both teams are going to go on, want to go out and, I mean, you want to go out and get a quick start. Both sides are going to want to do that for, for different reasons. The atmosphere at Inverness has been amazing and it's gotten better and better each day. Tomorrow's final round will be electric. From the USA chance to the stands filled with red, white and blue, fans showing up in full force to watch some of the best golfers in the world. Toledo has taken center stage this week and boy has this place shined. This is awesome setup. The, um, Toledo has done a fantastic job. I came all the way from Oregon and they're playing in the Cambria Classic next week. So I'll probably see him again. Oh, it's absolutely spectacular. I worked in an event here a couple years ago and was out here Thursday for a practice round and saw all the work they put into this course and all the, the prep work that got done for heck starting last spring and everything like that to make this happen and to, to see it finish and to see everybody from across the world coming here. It's, it's really cool to see. USA! USA! Now, if you haven't made it out here yet, you still have one more day, but here are some sights and sounds from the Solheim Cup. And here is how everything looks going into tomorrow. Europe leads by two. The Americans need seven and a half points tomorrow to win the Solheim Cup. It won't be easy, but it is shaping up to be a thrilling final day here at the Solheim Cup. We will see you back out here tomorrow. That'll do it for sports.